Jeff Stone here with day 44 of the year 2015 at magicreview.com. We're looking at John Bannon's sizzle today. Um, well, bottom line is it's a packet trick and it's uh, basically an, a variation or a, uh, I'll say an improvement um, over uh, of, of the effect by Alex Elmsley called Dazzle. And um, you start off, this is a, a sleight of hand packet trick that uh, you need to do at an angle I can't really show you on the camera, but I can kind of walk you through it and you can go watch the ad trailer and it shows you exactly what happens. Um, but you show uh, a packet of three jokers, an ace, and then three more jokers. And then one at a time you take each joker and they all have different colored backs here, okay? And you take the blue joker and then all the other jokers, not, um, not these three, but the ones in the other packet over here, they all turn blue. And then you take the blue joker, one of the blue jokers out, and then put the green one in. They all turn green, and then they all turn purple. <clears throat> and then when you're done, um, you uh, show the ace that uh, it has an orange back. And so, of course, the implication is that you're going to make the rest of the cards uh, change orange. But instead, you show that they all have different colored backs. Uh, and then, not only that, but they also have changed from jokers to a royal flush. Everything's examinable. The cards are not gimmicked. So these are the cards that you get. You get a royal flush. That is that color. And then you get uh, the jokers that are falling all over the place here. The jokers that are that color. And they're standard bicycle quality uh, playing cards and they're excellent. They're very... That, you know, it just feels like a new deck of cards. That's how good they feel. So the cards are well made. Um, the DVD is well produced. I mean, it's big blind media. Hello. Of course, it's well done. Um, so the question is basically, it, really what it's going to come down to is if you like the effect or not. And that's as simple as that. It's easy to do. It just uses three moves. And really, you can do it with just two moves. The Elmsley count and the Hammond count. What's additional that Bannon's also added is his um, bullet party display, I think is what it's called. But it's just a slight tweak in the Elmsley count that you can, and if you do an Elmsley count, uh, you can instantly add this to um, your Elmsley count. Now, it's, it doesn't, it's not the kind of thing that'll work in every single effect that uses Elmsley, but in this particular one, it works very well. And it's sort of an adaptation of that, the um, frustration count by Brother John Hammond as well. And so you put that little piece into your Elms account and you got a real nice display that you just jokers look like they're everywhere. So you, the band and move the Elmsley and the ham account. That's all you need. If you can already do those and you like the effect, all you need are these cards. So get this for 27 bucks. If you don't like the effect, then obviously don't bother buying this DVD. <clears throat> um, so there's also the ham accounts taught on here. Um, very clearly by both Liam and by John Bannon. Uh, they both teach it separately. And same with the, the, I don't know which one I just said, the Hammond count or whatever, but the Hammond, the Elmsley, and the Bannon count, they're all taught by each of these guys. So they're taught twice, basically. There's also a bonus effect in there by um, by John Bannon, and I'm, I'm John Hammond, John Bannon. i got to keep those straight in my head. By John Bannon, and it's a really simple prediction effect, and it uses the old... Um, uh, it's got a million names, but I think the real official original name is called Xing the Cut. But the Cross Cut Force, the Criss Cross Force, I've heard it called all kinds of different things. Um, I'm not a fan of that particular uh, force. I know a lot of magicians swear by it, but uh, it's always just never felt right for me. But Bannon's way of doing it, and it's it's sort of the, the foundational method of the the, the bonus effect... It's very clever, and it makes the cut so much more deceptive. And you don't have to do anything. It's not There's no special sleight of hand involved. The spectator still is doing everything, pretty much. And so it's, it's a self-working effect that is a prediction effect, and it's very, very clean and very, very clever uh, what he does. And it's, and, um, it's based on uh, Camera France's, I think it's called the Annihilation Deck, um, and so if you're familiar with sort of what that effects like, this is kind of based on that, except you don't have a whole deck set up. You just have two cards that you need that are extra cards that you just keep, you know, in the cellophane of your box or in your wallet or whatever. And then you can do it with any deck at all, borrowed deck. 
So, as long as you have those two extra cards. And those extra cards are nothing special. They're just um, have something written on them, basically. That's it. So, anyway, it's very, very clever. So, between the two things, you get two um, card effects. And if you liked the my crappy description of the bonus effect, or if you liked what you saw in the ad trailer for Sizzle with these cards, then this is a no-brainer. Get it. Very Everything's well done. I mean, that's... It's always the, the good reviews that are the shortest. You know, this is where we're like five minutes into this and I don't really have much else to say about it. So we're just going to stop there and I'll tell you it's five stars. Stone status of gem. If you like the effect, get it. Uh, so let's take a look at the random iTunes song of the moment. While you like this video, subscribe to my channel and share it to all of your social places. Today we've got Iron Maiden, The Fugitive. This is actually a good tune. I mean, it's Maiden, so it's a good tune. But um, Fear of the Dark wasn't their greatest album. But there's there's still a handful of good effects on there. Good effects. Um, good, not tricks. Songs. Good songs on there. And this one is one of them. The Fugitive. Anyway, so I'll put a link to that in the description below. Tune in tomorrow, Valentine's Day. Which is day 45. And I figured the appropriate thing to review on Valentine's Day, of course, would be share the love by patrick Cunn. i know probably you're hoping it was reviewed before now so you could buy it and have it for valentine's day but i waited till tomorrow till tomorrow to do this so anyway uh thanks for watching guys we'll see you then peace out <laughs>